Doug, come here a sec. I got something I need to show you. You see how the seams in there are failing? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. I think we need to use the HEPA vacuum and then install silt flashings and a kick-out. Now, it's going to cost you about $300 extra, but I think in the long run, it'll save you money. What do you think? I think that sounds great. You, uh, you get your own HEPA vacuum or you want to use mine? I have one. Good. Uh, that's good that you have one. Okay. What was that about? Ah, Steve thinks we need the heap of the whole thing out in there and install some silk flashings and a kick out. I agree. And do you know what any of that means? Why do you always need to know what things mean? It's not an attractive quality. Well, is it going to cost any more? 300, but it's going to save us money in the long run. But the guy gave us an estimate. Why didn't he see it the first time when he came here? I don't know. Well, don't you think you should ask him? <sighs> Fine. Never ends. What? I, I said, you're beautiful. <laughs> hey, Steve. What's up? Uh, question for you. Uh, how come the stuff you were just telling me about wasn't included in the original estimate? Well, I didn't put in an estimate because I didn't see it. I didn't see it because it was behind the wall and I cannot see through the wall. You want somebody who can see through the wall? Maybe you should call Captain Superman to help you no, out. No, 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 you don't need to call Captain Superman. I was just wondering, you know, trying to learn about mold. <laughs> you, know? uh, you guys are doing a great job, by the way, really. And you know what? You guys make the coveralls work, too. You really do. You stick me in them, and I look like a peanut M&M. &M. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Hello? Anybody here? Their tools are gone. Where are they? <laughs> Doug, it's been four days since they've been here. I can't live like this. Did you call them again? Yes, I left message 17 an hour ago. <laughs> Did you leave them our number? Oh, gee, no, I forgot to do that. Actually, you know what I mean? Hello? Dad, we're in here. Just follow the tape we put down. It's taking me in circles. It's not taking you in circles. Actually, it is. Uh, payback for the allowance thing. <laughs> okay, come on. Thank you, Dolly. I was spinning like a dreidel out there. <laughs> Shh, it's ringing, it's ringing. Uh, uh, hey, Steve, uh, uh, Doug Heffern in here. Oh, hello, Doug. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. How about you? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it is cold, isn't it? Ooh, it's very cold. I... <laughs> uh, question for you. Uh, we've kind of been wondering where you guys have been. Like I told you, we have many big projects going. Yeah, but you said you'd squeeze us in, and now our house is it's kind of it's kind of ripped apart. Okay, okay. How does a week from Friday sound? <laughs> that, that, that's two weeks from now. Well, if that doesn't make you happy, maybe you want to call Captain Superman. <laughs> No, 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 that, that, that'll be fine, what? okay? What? He's gonna come a week from Friday. No, that's unacceptable. Uh, look, is there any way Doug, uh, you it's could... unacceptable, use the word. Uh, uh, Steve, what you're doing is very un... nice of All you. Right. All right, give me those skip. Hello, this is Carrie Heffernan. Yes, Mrs. Doug. Um, your behavior is unacceptable. Now, there may be other people who fall for this kind of crap, but not us, buddy boy, okay? I happen to work for a law firm that specializes in civil litigation. So if I don't see you guys tomorrow here at 8 a.m., I will be introducing my Woodski to your ASCII. I think he got the message.